Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. Now this video is for beginner players and it's all about forehand topspin. Now forehand topspin, very important stroke. It allows you to attack with great speed, with great spin and great consistency. If you can learn forehand topspin, if you can master it, then you're gonna progress to intermediate and advanced standards of play. So, in this video, we're gonna look at how to do the forehand topspin. Got some great tips coming up. Hopefully it's gonna help you a lot. Let's start really basic, okay? Forehand drive. This is what a forehand drive looks like, okay? And again. So, hitting through the ball, flat type of contact, adding a little bit of topspin, but not really that much. So that's your drive shot. Yeah, nice and simple. So how do we turn this drive shot into more of a topspin shot? Um, we're gonna focus on three simple things here to turn this into a topspin shot. Number one, I'm going to turn my bat angle towards the table. So now it's a bit more horizontal, the bat angle. Number two, I'm going to brush the top of the ball. So brushing contact towards the top of the ball and that's what helps generate the topspin. And the third change is my arm's just gonna come up a little bit higher, okay? So in this clip, I'm alternating between drive and topspin, drive and topspin. And you can see the difference between the two strokes. The drive, the bat angle is straighter. The topspin, I'm closing the bat angle more. The swing trajectory is different. The drive, it's coming through a little bit lower. The topspin, it's coming up a little bit higher. And the flight of the ball is different as well. The drive balls are going lower over the net in a straighter line. The top spin has a little bit of an arc to the ball. So it's just going over the net a little bit higher. Now the timing of this shot is quite important. And for me, I'm trying to make this contact, I guess just in front of my right hip here. So it's a bit towards the side of the body, just in front of the hip. If the ball goes a bit further back, you can still top spin it, but it's a more awkward shot and you're gonna be hooking the ball a little bit more and it'd be difficult to generate much pace. Or if you're trying to play the shot right out there in front of you, by the time you get to the ball, you're gonna to be towards the end of your stroke and you're not gonna be able to lift the ball much. You're not gonna be able to get much of a brushing contact on the ball. So timing, just here, in front of the hip is a good place to be aiming for. So when this becomes easy and you get really consistent at brushing the ball with this basic topspin technique, then you need to progress to playing with more speed. And to do that, you want to start using your body more. So legs are important, using your legs more, your waist is important, and using both your legs and your waist, you'll be able to rotate and twist into the ball with greater speed, which will allow you to play much faster topspins. But the key here is when you're doing all of this, when you're adding in this extra speed, still make sure that you are brushing the ball, still getting that brushing contact. That's what makes the topspin shot work. But what if the ball has backspin? So your opponent's giving you a backspin serve or they've pushed at you or chopped at you. So we need to topspin these backspin balls. But I'm going to change my stroke a little bit. And the main thing I want to change is my swing trajectory. 
So instead of coming forwards so much, it's like the regular topspin, I'm now going to change the swing so it's going to come up more. So I'm going to brush up the back of the ball more. Let's look at some of the other changes I've made there. So if that's the bat angle for my regular topspin, I'm now just gonna open up the bat angle a little bit more, okay? So I'm gonna have that sort of bat, bat angle. Now, I'm going to drop my bat below the table, which I can do by using my legs, by bending down a little bit. Then as that ball just comes off the table, I'm now going to brush upwards up the back of the ball. And what I'm trying to really contact here is this part of the ball. Look at my bat angle, still ever so slightly turned, and that allows me to brush that part of the ball. In terms of where I'm gonna finish the stroke, probably gonna finish it somewhere around this area. Different players will do different things, but roughly around this area, it's looking good. The timing of the shot is again important. I think the easiest way to do it is to let that backspin ball just come off the table and then brush it. If you go too early for this one, you end up sort of brushing more towards the top of the ball and it becomes a slightly harder shot to do. And if you leave the ball too late, again, you'll probably end up having to play a very awkward top spin where you open up your bat angle and it won't be very effective. So the timing is quite precise for me, just letting that ball just come off the table and then I can brush up the back of the ball. When this becomes easy, and you get really consistent at top spinning these backspin balls, then you need to start adding in more speed into the shot. And like before, we're gonna start using our body more. We're gonna use our legs more, use our legs to get a little bit lower and help us spring up. We're gonna be using our waist a little bit more to help twist into the shot. Absolutely vital again when you're going for this faster top spin that you're still brushing the ball. That brushing contact is what generates the top spin. So keep that in mind when you're adding more speed that you're still brushing the ball. So the ball has backspin. You top spin up to lift the backspin. You've now turned it into a topspin rally. The ball is blocked back to you, the ball comes back to you with topspin, so your next shot, you close the bat angle and come forwards with this topspin, brushing over the top of the ball. Topspin up, topspin forwards, topspin up, topspin forwards. So I've kept things really simple in this video and you know you could even say that the top spins that I've been showing you are quite unspectacular but I think that's the best way to start just keep it simple just really focus to begin with if this is a new shot for you I'm just getting that brushing contact right getting the timing right getting the swing trajectory right getting the feel of when you should top spin forwards and when you should top spin up depending upon what type of ball that you're facing and I think when you can do all these basics and you understand it and you get good at it then absolutely yes you should start using 
your body more, start using your legs more, start using your waist more, start twisting into the shots more. And that's gonna allow you to get much more speed and spin and play some really fantastic forehand topspin shots. But to begin with, just get the basics right. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. I hope I gave you some good tips. If you liked the video, then please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then you'll get alerts when I put out new videos. Um, I do have plenty more videos coming up, so I will see you soon. Bye-bye.